This video was sponsored by Enhance, Elbil Mac, a better wood planner, Camp Power, and Bill Componente. Yo, what's up? The BYD C Line 7 with a 93 kilowatt hour battery was supposed to charge at 230 kilowatt. I did not achieve that speed when I tested it in February, but now with a recent update in September, they unlocked the speed. Plus, they also made some improvement in the preheating of the battery, so it heats up to 25 degrees Celsius, and the cooling is supposed to be also optimized. Plus, that they did a lot of other improvements in that software update. But now we're gonna see how fast does it charge this time. So right off the bat, you see that it goes quite fast to 225 is, but then it drops a little bit to 200 and then it goes up again. So that's kind of weird. I think I saw that also earlier in the previous, well, okay, whatever. But uh, you can maintain that speed for a little bit. It doesn't just plummet right away. The Model Y there is kind of cheating because I started recording earlier and then before 10%, and then I started recording. So I started charging me in. So that's why, you know, it did the ramp up and that's why it kind of came out a little bit fast in the beginning. But back to the Sea Lion 7, it can maintain 230 kilowatt for a while, and then eventually it will drop, but it just has a little dip, and then okay, a little bit more, but it still maintains around 200 kilowatt for a while. So very impressive and nice and flat charging curve. But right now, the car which is leading is the Ionic. 250 kilowatt, wow, nice and flat. But also, eventually, the Ionic will throttle a bit, but still very nice. And you see the Ionic and the C-Line, they have the so-called 800 volt architecture, even though C-Line is only 600 volt. Uh, and uh, okay, now it starts throttling a little bit more on the C-Line, but still 180 kilowatt, really impressive compared to Tesla, for example. <laughs> oh, lol, 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 lol. But the MEV platform, yeah, it, it doesn't charge that fast. It doesn't have that high peak power, but it still maintains okay speed now at this uh, state of charge, 55%. It's actually charging faster than Model Y at 50%. <laughs> but okay, back to the C-Line again. Look at this. Even at almost 60%, you still have 170. Okay, you had 170 kilowatt. Now it's down to 152 kilowatt. Still nice, nice speed, man. But it seems like nothing can beat Ionic. The Koreans, man, they are really awesome. Yeah, at least in this comparison, right? Okay, uh, didn't. why did you ex include the X-Bank? Okay, whatever. Um, all right, let's see. Uh, still very nice, fast speed on the Ionic 6. But back to the Sea Lion, you see that even at high state of charge, even at 70%, the Sea Lion can still pump in 156 kilowatt. Ionic already started throttling. You know, they don't want to kill the battery, or maybe I don't know what's going on there. But Ionic is about to hit 80% right around there. So Ionic 1 to 80%, but this test goes to 90%. And now the Ionic has lost its oomph. It's going at only around 55 kilowatt, whereas the C-Line is going at 110 kilowatt. Holy macaroni is charging fast at the end. <laughs> and then MEB platform is on a third, I think. And then you know, Tesla is on the last. Yeah, no, nobody cares about how fast Tesla charges. It charges so slow. But wait a minute. Uh... Ionic charges so fast, it seems like they have tuned the Ionic to go fast to 80%, but some people might want to charge to 90%, and right now the C-Line is charging about twice as fast as the Ionic. Huh? Wait a minute, this neck on neck now, 86% on the Ionic and the C-Line, is the C-Line going to beat the Ionic to 90%? That's what matters, right? Look how fast the C-Line is charging now. Even at 88%, it could take 86 kilowatt. Whereas the Koreans, they are only at 30 kilowatt. Whoa, look at that. C-Line 1 to 90%, what a comeback. <laughs> Let's go to 100% also, yeah, let me see. Yeah, but also the MEB platform uh, came back there. Now, MEB actually went faster to, to 90% than the Ionic. Wow, that is very impressive. Sorry for my voice. I'm recovering from the man flu. But um, yeah, well, needless to say, Tesla is the last now. But uh, also here, past 90%. Even then, the C-Line is charging quite fast, also, compared to the other car. But actually, the MEB is going, going quite schnell also. Wow, that's that's what it's all about, huh, with the MEB platform. Which car is going to hit 100% though? Huh, C-Line or MEB? Both of them are really fast to 100%. But I'm just blown away by how good the C-Line 7 is charging. And that is, of course, the wonder of the 800 volt architecture. Well, now it's down to 587 volt. Huh? How the heck could the voltage drop now? Yeah, because the charging power has dropped. This is actually the charging voltage, not the, the resting voltage. But it seems like actually the MEB will go to 100% first. Or actually, wait, 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 this is so, this is so neck on neck right now. Uh, uh, there, yeah, okay, MEB, bam, 42 two minutes and then the sea line should finish in just one or two more minutes after that uh come on, come on, come on. there 
all right sorry for my voice i've just hit the limit but now you're gonna look at the drawing curve so you see here the red line that's a c line seven and then the blue line at the bottom here that was the old c line seven so it charges a lot faster now than before i don't know why it couldn't hit that speed before was it because of thermal or something else it's wise niche but um, uh, ionic 5 was still faster at least for a while but then you see here that the ionic 5 uh, dropped below the c line and many other cars and then the yellow line is explorer nice and flat yeah and then the bottom line here is the model y yeah <laughs> <laughs> well, Tesla is the slowest charging car in this comparison. I think that's going to be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.